Do you know why you were born? I'm Tyrone Bowman. This is Tyrone Bowman tonight. The topic of discussion for this evening as this new year comes to a close. Discover your purpose. Discover your purpose for being alive. Discover your purpose for living. Discover your purpose for having the gifts, the talents, and abilities that have been invested within you. And the gifts, talents, and abilities that have been entrusted in your care. There are millions of men and women who have lived and died and they never discovered their purpose for being alive. And there are millions of men and women right now who are alive and they really don't even know what they were born for. So, let me kind of help you on this evening. What are you good at? What is it that you have a penchant for? What is it that you know you can do without effort? without struggling, without allowing yourself to get to the point where you just give up. This world is filled with doom and gloom. And if you listen to the Daily Prognosticators every night on the networks major and minor, you will be filled with fear, worry, stress, doubt, and unbelief, hopelessness and disparity. Why? Because they want to focus in on the sensational. They want to focus on the murders. They want to focus on everything that they seem to think that drives up the ratings. We are in a game, ladies and gentlemen, and we are also in a war. What type of war, Tyrone? The war of the minds. Your mind is a chamber. Your mind is a storage place. Your mind is a warehouse. Your mind is an incubator. Your mind is a treasure of wealth. Within your mind lies the power of creativity. However, most individuals won't use what they've been given during their lifetimes because they're too busy coveting something someone else has. You will never know who you are until you get to the point where you get tired of not achieving success. Yes, I'm sitting here with my raggedy shirt on tonight in my comfortable chair. I'm at home. I feel like dressing up. What is being said is more important as opposed to what I'm wearing. Do you not know that the world's greatest discoverers come from humble backgrounds and meager uh, surroundings? They weren't born with all the trappings of success that individuals think that they have. They weren't born with silver and gold. Maybe some might have been born that way because someone paid the price and paved the way for them to be able to achieve it. But for the most part, they came out of poverty. They came out of weariness. They came out of sickness, disparity. They came out of a sense of longing and wanting to arise up and to be, to do, and to have. You've heard me quote Reverend Ike many times. Those are not my words. You can be what you want to be. You can do what you want to do. And you can have what you want to have. That's what the late Reverend Ike used to say. If you believe in God in you, and you believe in the gifts, the talents, and the abilities within you, and if you believe that you're worthy of, and if you believe that you really desire God's goodness right here, right now, you can have it. Yes, you can. Stop looking at every negative thing. Stop carrying the cares and the weight of the world upon your shoulders. You and I were not created to be everybody's problem solver. We weren't born to carry the problems of the world on our shoulders. Yes, we can be kind and loving and gracious and compassionate, but it doesn't mean that you and I have to get to the point in our lives where we carry the weight of the world on our shoulders. Too many individuals think that if they don't take care of their whole family, that the family will starve. That is not true. Almighty God takes care of every creature with foul, with, with foul wings, of every type of fowl. He makes sure that they're well provided for during their earthly pilgrimage. Back to the topic of discussion. You have what it takes to succeed. 
You have what it takes to achieve. You have what it takes to arise out of your stupor, ladies and gentlemen, as this year comes to a close. Health, happiness, sex, health, happiness, success, and prosperity. Is it yours? Are you still weary? Are you still depressed? Are you still looking and thinking about what other people have as opposed, as opposed to what's already invested within you? You already have what it takes to succeed. You just have to use it. You already have what it takes to be a great discoverer. You have to use it. Some of you were born to be lawyers and doctors, professors and scientists, but you're not doing it. You're squandering your gifts and your talents. Some of you were born to be financiers, but you're not doing it. You're squandering your talents through gambling and wasting all of your money. Some of you were born to be great discoverers for the next cure to the diseases that are on this planet, but you're wasting your talent. Some of you are born to be great entertainers and comedians and poets and rappers, but you're not doing it. You're too busy admiring others. As for me, I can't sit on the sideline and admire the inspirational, motivational speakers. Why? Because it has been predestinated, divinely predestinated, that I would be an inspirational, motivational teacher. And I'm going to make sure that I fulfill my assignment during my lifetime. To those of you that think you're always going to have youth on your side, newsflash. You're not going to be young forever. So stop wasting your youth. Stop wasting the gifts, the talents, and the abilities that you have. Stop thinking that you're going to be 15 or 16 forever. You will grow up. You will mature. You will grow older. To my brothers and sisters tonight who are behind prison walls, let me encourage you and say this to you. Don't allow the confines of the concrete walls to imprison your mind. You still have gifts, talents, and abilities. You still have a creative aspect of you. Utilize it to the best of your ability. Some of you are going to be exonerated. Some of you are going to be coming home. And some of you, will be lifers. But just because you're a lifer behind the walls of concrete does not mean that life has to die within you. Find your purpose. Find your goal. Find your purpose for living. Let society judge you. Let them condemn you. There's always a place for redemption in God. Yes, I said it. There's always a place for redemption in God. Jesus came to save or to rescue or to ransom the worst of sinners. Quote, he said, I've not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. What does the word repentance mean? It simply means that you turn. You're going to go on a brand new course. Society will judge you. They will condemn you. They will put you down. They will always remember what you did. Guess what? Let them judge you. Let them condemn you. Let them put you down. You rise up and live anyway. Let life come to you and through you. Utilize the gifts, the talents, and abilities that you have. For those of you that are on the outside, you know many individuals, they may be free physically, but they're imprisoned within their minds. They're imprisoned within their own spirits. Don't allow this new year, 2022, come upon you with fear, worry, disaster. Oh, there are going to be plenty of things that happen from the unseen world that will come onto this planet. That is, it's coming to do what? To break you, to shake you, to cause you to fear, to cause you to worry, to cause you to think that you're not worthy of the good things that God has prepared, uh, prepared for you. Yes, it can be for you in the here and the now. So rise up with your gifts, rise up with your talents, find your purpose, discover, be like a man who is mining for gold, be like an individual who comes from a different land and comes to this country wanting to succeed, be like individuals who are going on a pilgrimage, going on a journey, not knowing where they're going, but they know 
that they have to go. Be tenaciously and defiantly, optimistically inspired to utilize the very gifts, talents, and abilities that you have. And I'm looking forward to, by the grace of God, to bring in more exciting, inspirational, motivational teaching videos in the coming new year. From my heart to your heart, may you have a wonderful, blessed, happy and prosperous new year filled with health, happiness, success, prosperity, eternal life, joy, and money. I'm Tyrone Bowman. Never surrender. Never quit.